Happy Sunday, everyone. Three, two, one. That's how many days there are. There's only three days before Christmas. And don't forget, you want to get your love, uh, your Braveheart bands, right? You want to start the new year right. So what is this? This is called a Braveheart band. And it says, three, two, one, I got this. Braveheart, three, two, one, I got this. What does that mean? Well, the Braveheart band, uh, this is a kiss. This is a hug. So you can do it out in public and you won't get arrested. So that's why we put this together. And as soon as you totally love yourself and honor and respect yourself, you'll stop hurting other people. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool if we actually ended all the wars around the world? Oh, wait a minute. That's never going to happen. I forgot what planet I was on. This is planet Earth. We've been to war with each other since the beginning of time. And we've been to war with ourselves and our families. Okay. And that's the name of the game down here because the only true peace is called inner peace. Do you get it yet? Oh, gee. Uh, you know, I just love the, um, the modeling shows, you know, Miss America. So what would you like? What would be your dream? I just want world peace. Are you like out of your skull? You can't have world peace down here. Everybody's always at war. And our government is continually making wars with everyone because it's all about power, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, today's one a day is what? What's it called? Okay, it's called the number one underrated pleasure. All right, so I'm not gonna tell you what that is because I want everybody to try to guess. I want people, if you're watching this right now, to type it in and tell me what you think the number one underrated pleasure is. Come on, please. Come on, where's your, where's your little kid? Let your little kid come out and play because that's the only way you can get through Christmas. Oh, trust me, it's the only way because if your little kid doesn't come out, you're just gonna blow your brain out. All right? Okay, so let's talk. We were talking this morning, and um, you were saying, uh, everybody, this is Dave, and this is his father, Ken. Okay, these two good-looking guys. Good morning. And you've been here how many days? Six? Uh, this is going on seven? Seven. Seven. Seven days? Yeah. Okay, so this morning we were talking about, you were talking about how you woke up this morning feeling... Yes. What? Oh, amazing. Great. Uh, good sleep. Um, positive, um, felt like I had drive, motivation, um, it just, it was just a, an overall good feeling. Yeah. And has everybody noticed something underneath his eyes? You see the blackness here and the brownness? Well, that's his liver. And that's why he's going to have to keep up with the daily cleansing tea. That's why he's got to keep up with the perfect day cleanse. That's why you're going to have to look at fasting when you get home. Yep. But he's gonna, the coffee enemas are going to be what's going to get away this poopy look. And the poopy look is because he backed up his pooper. And when he backed up his pooper, he backed up his liver. Because his liver couldn't purify his blood because he was pooping into his blood from leaky gut. Okay, so this morning when I came in and you said, yeah, I'm feeling really good. And I said, yeah, feeling good or feeling bad is just a what? It's just a thought. That's all it is. You made it up. You want to kick the crap out of yourself? Go ahead, but do it on, do it by yourself. You know what I mean? And, and this is because you were taught that you were unworthy, maybe through the church, through your parents, through the system, through the school you went to. Trust me, I went to a school uh, that was run by nuns and brothers and they kicked the living crap out of me. You know, all I knew is that God was a miserable son of a bee. You know, mm -hmm. seriously, that's all I grew up to know. Okay. So I just want you to know that. Okay. I mean, you want to talk about miserable people. Nuns and brothers, holy crap. Love, forget it. They were so upset and angry, and you can take that to the bank, all right? And I don't really care what people think, all right? You know what? You either, I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what nationality you are, okay? Love is the answer, but if you don't love yourself, you're going to kick the crap out of everybody you touch. So it's self-love and self-care, and that's it. And I told him this morning when he said, yeah, I feel great this morning, I said, Hey, and the, I, I looked at him, and this is the truth. I looked at him and I said, Dave, you have no idea how many billions of people have it so much worse than you. They don't have a home. They don't have food. They probably lost their parents, and they smile more than you. And guess what? When I said that, in an instant, what happened on TV? You had the TV on. Yes, that's right. What came on on TV? Everything. A little child... Yeah. Okay, war-torn child, okay, that lost his parents and he was crying and they were asking for money. Yeah. I mean, you know what? 
Okay, there are no coincidences. No. So understand something. Yeah. You know what? When you're all done complaining and explaining why you don't have what you want and why life treats you miserable, understand, this is self-care. This is a do-it-yourself planet. The whole world is going to be at war with itself continually because before you came down here, you signed a contract spiritually saying, I'm going to go down to a planet called Earth, right, which is a life-threatening, fun-filled experience where people to go around talking about how they love each other and they kill each other. Mm -hmm. And what you need to do is wake up to the fact that you need to love, honor, respect yourself totally because it's never going to end. And don't you give me any of that. I don't want to hear about any politicians. I don't want to hear about any religions telling me how uh, the end is coming or how Jesus is coming or how this is coming or that's going. You only have the present moment. You own it. Okay? You're, you're either going, it's doomsday tomorrow or, or we're all going to be saved tomorrow. Right. Well, you know what? Are we done yet? Are you done yet? I'm done. I'm really done. Are you done? And you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. Yeah, yeah. Let's not make uh, that which created the universe, okay? All right? Constipated and grumpy, okay? And needing to be on Prozac, okay? That which created the whole universe said, hey, you said you want to go down to planet Earth? You're going to be, they're going to lie, they're going to cry, and they're going to justify, and they're going to take you, they're going to take your spirit, and they're going to crush it, and then it's up to you to rise like the phoenix from the ashes and say, I got this. And that's it. Yeah. How's your, how's your tummy coming? Better. Yeah. Better. Look at it. Flat tummy. Oh, I know. Flat. <laughs> flat. And look at, look how bright he's looking and better he's looking. If you saw the first one. Oh, yeah. And his legs. His legs are just incredible. Yeah, and because. The swelling's going down. I had lymphedema. Lymphedema, and then Sage did one treatment on him. Yeah. You guys, you know what? Did you watch the yesterday's video, okay, called the Holy Grail of Healing? I know, I know it's two hours and 40 minutes, but understand something. When do you want to take your life back? When are you going to go and do your own homework? When are you going to be your own hero? When are you going to be your own practitioner? And when are you going to be the life for your family? When are you going to stop just looking around at everybody complaining and explaining how they're suffering. I mean, you can't go to any family dinner today and somebody doesn't have cancer or somebody does, hasn't got some kind of diabetes or they're taking their pills before their, before their Christmas dinner. They're taking these pills or they're taking them after. Mm -hmm. You know what? You need to wake up, okay? We're being sold off by the pound. So what, do you need, what would you like to say? I, I've said this actually every day, I think I've uh, been on here, but I just think that um, it's just keep doing the program. The program is... Well, no, simple. first you got to start the program. Start, oh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. hardest part was to start it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, it was hard. I and walked in this morning and he's going and he's reading his uh, uh, Braveheart Loving Steps. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Yeah. I mean, a month ago, you would never do anything. No, like I, I wouldn't. I would have picked it up and put it back down and thought, well... Maybe some other time, but no, it's, it's too important. Yeah, but you, guess what? You, a month ago, you would have put it down. You know why? Because you're stupid. No, he's not. Nobody's stupid. Everybody's a genius. You got to understand your subconscious is running you and, and the government knows it. The media knows it. Corporations know it. They, they actually program you to kill yourself and your family. How's that working? So the reality is if you understand that your subconscious is 90% of you and you've yeah. never been in charge. When you start doing the, the Braveheart 12 Loving Steps and you start doing the perfect day and using the diet and doing the exercise and doing the breathing and connecting to your source, which is that God, creator, whatever you want to call that, okay? Then you start taking your life back. You've never had your life. No, no, no. no. And, and nobody wakes up until they're around 50, even if they do. It's very rare that somebody wakes up before then, okay? Very, very rare. I didn't know that. No, no, people don't wake up until they're dying. You know, think about it. You were in so much pain, you came here and spent all this money. You would never do that unless you were suffering. You wouldn't say, hey, I'm gonna to go to Dr. Wolf and I'm gonna go do his personal treatment and training and I'm gonna learn how to be the best authentic self of myself. You wouldn't do that unless you're dying. Yeah. People, yeah. you're programmed not to spend five grand, around five to six grand to come to see me unless you're dying. 
all right? Or your relationship with your wife is gonna blow up, or you can't take the pain anymore, or they said you're gonna to go to surgery and you don't like surgery. Well, nobody needs to go to surgery. Well, only one out of probably, actually, I'd say probably 10 out of 1,000 actually need to get surgery that actually do surgery. And I can prove that, and I'll come up against any surgeon, I'll come up against any doctor any day on my show. All right, so what do you think? Um, just so what's the number one, uh, what's the number oh. one underrated pleasure? What's the number one underrated pleasure? Happiness? No, what's the number one? Love. No. Oh. Uh, underrated. 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 Uh, love is overstated because self-love is the way. Love is overstated, dudes. If it was going to work, everyone out there, it would have worked already. You'd be feeling wonderful all the time. Yeah. If getting love from someone else was so good, then why isn't it working, Dave? Um, okay. All right. So we know that that's a self-serve job, but this is a self-serve job too. And it's, what's the number one underrated pleasure? A good bowel movement. And understand, you're going to have people that you're going to think that are upset with you and actually, they're just upset because they can't get the cork out of their butt this Christmas. Yeah. Now, this Christmas, did you know that 9 out of 10 people will either have constipation or diarrhea? Now, what do you think that's going to do to your mood? Oh. So, I'm going to tell you something. If you're not doing your daily cleansing tea twice a day or getting on our cleansing caps, okay? And if you're all corked up, then you better, if you don't have ours, then take like a level tablespoon of Himalayan salt, put it into a quart of warm water, Drink it first thing in the morning, okay, or, or before you go to bed, then sit on the toilet because you got to get the cork out of your butt because are you fun to be with when you're constipated? Not really. Are you fun to be with when you have <laughs> diarrhea? No. <laughs> okay. Have you been feeling better since you've been here and having two to three bowel movements a day? Definitely. Do you feel lighter in the head? Definitely. Do you feel clearer? Yes. Do you feel like having more fun? Yes. Okay. So don't hang around with people that are constipated or have diarrhea. That's the deal. Uh oh, that means you're going to be alone this Christmas. All right. Okay. Merry Christmas, everyone. And uh, uh, happy holidays and happy Hanukkah. And understand something. On Monday, I'm doing a preview of the uh, um, masterclass, the A to Z Wellness Masterclass. And uh, I know you're going to enjoy it if you have the time. And if you don't, just go look at it on YouTube. And next Friday, I will be doing a Q&A. Okay, because we got quite a few questions from yesterday. We've had over 1,200 people watch yesterday's show wow. on how to look after the abdomen and pelvis between Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. And I just want to thank everybody for watching. And I know it was longer. It was two hours and 40 minutes. But tell me you didn't learn something. Okay, let's, let's, let's do something this year. Okay, teamwork makes the healing work. I want to hear from everyone. Okay, I want you to type your questions down. I want you to type in there what you thought was the most underrated pleasure. All right, have a beautiful day. All right, beautiful. Oh, yeah, All right.